Let's cut to the chase. Electric cars are here in Australia, and whether we like to admit it or not, they're becoming more mainstream. Now in the past, Tesla's been a brand that's resonated with people for their novelty factor and their out of this world acceleration times. But this is a Tesla that deserves to be taken seriously in its own right. It's the new Model 3, and yes, it has a lot of those carryover traits, but it's here in Australia at an affordable price and with some really solid real world virtues. Let's take a closer look. It was three years ago the Model 3 was first presented to punters on a global stage. Since that time there have been quality issues, financial instability and no shortage of Elon Musk controversy. It has also been three years since the very first Aussie customers put down $1,500 of hard-earned cash to be first in line for Tesla's highly touted entry model. Now when you see the Model 3 in the skin and you begin to look over some of the Australian specs, I reckon you have to argue that it has been worth the wait. There are three different models on offer. The BMW M3 rivaling performance, which sits at the top of the lineup, the mid-range long range, and also the standard range car driven here. $66,000, a 460km range, and a 0-100 to time of 5.6 seconds. Now those are all good starters but step inside and it gets better. Now naturally for a Tesla, there is a real wow factor to the interior. There's no physical key, instead you just use your smartphone. And aside from two buttons on the steering wheel and the hazard lights in the roof, there's no physical switch gear. Instead, everything is controlled via this mammoth 15 inch touchscreen. And we mean everything from fan speed and direction, to opening the glove box, adjusting the steering wheel and mirrors, or playing your favourite music. The best part is those concerns over quality have seemingly dissipated, with neat panel gaps, no squeaks or rattles, and comfortable vinyl clad seats. Ultimately, batteries directly under the floor can result in slightly perched knees, but otherwise, the Model 3 feels well resolved inside and out. The Tesla Model 3 has some surprisingly strong credentials out on the road. Don't forget that to get to this point, Tesla's gone and recruited some pretty senior uh, car company executives and engineers. So as a result, yes, the throttle tip in is perfect. It drives quite well, it sits nicely on the road, and it has a decent level of road holding for an 1800 kilogram electric car. Those initial impressions are supported by excellent front and rear vision, minimal road noise and an airy feel to the cabin. Further back, the boot aperture is tight at best, but there's plenty of length and split folding seats, while cabin storage is strong and there are two USB points front and rear. Five star safety, a premium interior fit out and an excellent and polished driving experience. There's a lot to like about the Tesla Model 3. Now, you could argue in real world terms, it still has some question marks. The range of this car is kind of closer to 350 k's than it is 460. And then there's that whole backdrop of a lack of government incentives and infrastructure. But more than anything, the Model 3 has proven itself as a car that really stands up on its own. It's not just a competent electric car, I reckon it's a really accomplished driver's sedan. <laughs> 